hey you, you're finally awake. You were trying to watch that Mr. Beast video, right? The year is 1998. After the release of Red Guard, a spin-off of Daggerfall, Bethesda wanted a new Elder Scrolls game. So Bethesda called in their best man, Todd Howard, and soon the devs were put to work. And three years later, their hard work was completed. In its first month, 95,000 copies were sold. And at the end of the year, 300,000 copies were sold. This is seen as a massive success by Bethesda and is marked by some as the start of modern Bethesda. Uh, but unfortunately, time passed, and other Elder Scroll games came out, including the absolute hit that was Skyrim. And I'm not going to dog on Skyrim, I enjoy Skyrim a lot, but we can all agree that when Skyrim came out, it kind of stole all the spotlight from all the other Elder Scrolls games. You know how many people say Skyrim? When is the next Skyrim game coming out? Instead of the next Elder Scrolls game? So in this video, me, Antarctic Entertainment, is going to see how fun Morrowind is, and see if it's worth playing. So... Without further ado, let's get into this. Now, just to start off here, the only reason I'm making a Morrowind video, the only reason I even thought of making a Morrowind video, is because all of the day goth, or I don't, I don't even know if I'm saying his name right, but there's a millions of videos of him, and his AI videos are great. I suggest looking him up. I'll put some in the description. Uh, but let's jump right into this. So the game starts off with a nice dream sequence, basically telling you you're a prophet or something. And you wake up on a slave ship going to Morrowind, and your best friend asks you here, Hey, what's your name? First of all, why does every Elder Scrolls game always start you off as a prisoner? I don't know about the older ones, but the ones I've played always start you off as a little prisoner. I find it odd, but that's nothing really. I don't really care. He asks you for your name, and the only thing my little brain can uh, comprehend is Achilles. So we say goodbye to our Dunmore friend, and... Uh, the slave captain walks us upstairs, and he got the swagger of a slave captain, I gotta say. That walk, big swagger. So he brings us up to the surface, and we meet this uh, imperial uh, guard guy, and we get to pick our race. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Now this Elder Scrolls game has all the races that you would expect. Uh, the elves, the humanoids, and the creatures like the uh, Khajiits and the Argonians, which are a little special in this game. Also, each race has their own stats, and I could go over them, but if you really want to know the stats, take your ass over the Fudge Muppet or ESO, because I ain't going to cover them. I really don't care. I want to talk about their appearances. So first off, we have the Nords. I like the Nords. They look alright in this game. A lot of face options that look pretty good. I like the the hair options. They're all very good. And I think the Nords are pretty solid. Then the next up, we have the Dwemer. You know, they look like elves. There's not much to say here. They look pretty good. And then we have the Orcs. The Orcs look a little weird, but I'm not going to make fun of them. They, they do alright. They look like an Orc, you know. It's, it's supposed to look ugly and stuff. And then we have the, uh, what is it, Red Guards. The Red Guards look alright too. I don't like how small their eyes are. I couldn't find a good face option for them. But, and I, they need more facial hair options. I imagine the Red Guard having a beard. And I don't know why they don't have that. The next up, the Khajiit. I don't like the Khajiit in this game. I don't know why they're, I understand it's supposed to be different because they're animals. But, it, it, look at this run animation. What is this run animation? Like, it just looks goofy. I like how they can jump higher than other races. That's pretty damn cool. But what are you guys' thoughts? They basically run the same. The the Khajiit and the Argonians run the same. But I don't think this run animation looks cool. So uh, give me your thoughts. Now for my first character going straight into Morrowind, I decided to become an Argonian because uh, the true Nerevar is, of course, an Argonian. But uh, I kind of regret this because I didn't know they can uh, not wear shoes and helmets. And their run animation is the same as the Khajiit, and I didn't like that. But I'm just going to stick with it for now. So after all of that, making my character and everything, I go into the building and I get to pick uh, what type of character I want to be and uh, distribute my stats. Uh, first of all, I like how this the stats are. I like the look of it. I don't understand it, of course, because I just started. But it looks good having numbers instead of Skyrim, where it's just a perk system. Uh, so I just pick my class and I pick a Crusader, I think, because... I don't know, it's like right in the middle. I can use destruction and I can have a sword and stuff and heavy armor. And I'm released on the world. I'm just set free. 
Uh, I do have to go somewhere, so I'm just going to travel right up there. Now, you may be thinking to yourself right now, especially if you play a bunch of modern games, that this game looks like shit. But give it a second. Like, for an older game like this, I think it has some charm to it. Like, the colors, I gotta say, first off, are pretty vibrant, so it's not too bad. It doesn't have, like, the Fallout 3 treatment where everything looks dull and disgusting. So I have to give it props for that. And also, the player models have somewhat of a charm to them. Like, they're not perfect, uh, especially with my complaints with the Argonians and the uh, Khajiit models looking kind of weird, and the running animations. And all the animations look kind of odd in this game. But this game does have a good graphically. Like, it looks pretty nice. So my quest right off the bat is to go find this guy up in this uh, town. So I was just going to go run down there right off the bat. But it's a very, and I mean very long walk. I have it sped up here. But things I noted that were pretty cool is... I didn't even have to open up my map, there was no quest markers, and I just followed the road signs. You just look at them, and you just know where you're going, because the sign says, that town is that way, which is pretty cool. Uh, I liked that a lot. And it was very boring. I went into a few towns, but I didn't really do much besides some small talk and just seeing what the game was about. But I did find this girl, which uh, gave me a quest to find a bandit. And she gave me a glove, which actually came off her hands, which I thought was pretty cool. Like, she took it off, the animation. Well, not the animation, but she didn't have a glove on. It was very cool. I also fought these bugs, which uh, I'm not even going to act like I understand the combat. Sometimes you hit them, sometimes you don't. It's kind of stupid, but I understand. That's probably like a roll chance or something like that. And I killed probably two or three of them. And I finally made it to the town. Ah, oh, the Silk Strider. If you know anything about Elder Scrolls, it's kind of sad, but uh, they don't really exist anymore, at least uh, to the capacity they are in Morrowind right now. But they're kind of cool. I also figure out right here is the goofy uh, animation that the uh, Argonians have. And I'm like, damn, I wish I didn't pick that, but I'm kind of stuck with it now. So after a little bit of running around the city and talking to the locals to find my, uh, let's say, superior... Uh, I finally find him, and I open up the door, and I see this guy, shirtless, and just with pants on. And correct me if I'm wrong, this guy's supposed to be in the Imperial Legion. This is my, uh, my, my commander, basically. And I look around his room, and I, I'm 100% that this guy is a drug addict. There was a skooma pipe on the ground, empty wine bottles, moon sugar. This guy is... A drug addict. This man, th in the dialogue too, there's nothing that just shows that he's a drug addict or anything. But homie has empty bottles, uh, a skooma pipe. I'm pretty sure he's doing something weird here. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong or tell me if this is like actually what he does. After talking with that drug addict guy, he uh, gives me 300 bucks and he says, hey, go buy some armor. We have some work to do. Uh, he also says I'm weak as fuck so I should join a club or something. Like the uh, Thieves Guild. No, not the Thieves Guild, but like, you know, guilds. So I decided to join the Blades, because they're there, and they basically say, hey, uh, you have to do something for us before we can even help you. Go to this ancient ruin and find an artifact and bring it back to us. So I'm just going to run over there and do that. But before I do that, I go down to the uh, local shop, and I decide to pick myself up a nice metal chest plate for protection and a nice long sword. It cost me a pretty penny, but I think it's worth it, and uh, I think the combat in this game is going to be easy. So after a short little walk, I finally make it to my destination, these ruins that the Blades want me to find. And I find this sorcerer across the bridge, this ominous, spooky as fuck bridge. And we start fighting. He summons a skeleton. Uh, he, I pull out my sword and we start fighting. I'm getting a good hits in. And then a homie just lightning bolts me and the skeleton hits me and I'm like absolutely killed. Uh, I fight him a couple more times. I mean a couple more times. Uh, Four to five times, because I thought, hey, I can cheese him. This is a Bethesda game. I can just run around, stab him, dodging his lightning bolt, or, like, get in between the skeleton. It doesn't really work out in this game. And it's the first taste of how hard this game is. Um, I have to grind a little bit before I come back to this.
Ah. Uh, why did I do that? That said trapped. Fuck's sake. 